case everybody out there doesn't know, there's two people on the other side of this camera. There's Keith and Robert, which are the responsible for this whole thing. So just remember, when we don't do well, we can blame it on them. Blame. When I started, Betsy was in charge. <laughs> and um, as of, if you see my license plate, it says Betsy's Best. I've had that since, I think about 85, 86, when she retired. I would have to say it's the people. I enjoy being here for the people and with the people. I say for the people because I feel like sometimes I'm a bartender and they come in and they might be having a bad day and I'm the person who they've come to and maybe they're venting, maybe they just need somebody to talk to. A lot of these people, including our own team members, don't get that interaction with people because we're all busy working, we're all busy doing our thing. So sometimes I'm the only person that these people get to see. There's a few, but I remember working on Highway 17, working nights. It was not only geology, but it was something different, you know, because the long hours, oh, the, the, the traffic on the highway. But as I said, it was always fun working with the good co-workers, good, good management, so it was good. I will always have fond memories of laughter and mayhem working with This is, my name's Doug Talbert, and I've been with Granite Rock for 46 years this month. So they want to find out why I stayed so long. That's right. You know, and I keep telling them if it, if I would have known it wasn't a permanent job, I would have left a long time ago. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I was lucky enough to work for guys like Richie Smith when, when she was a foreman. Todd Wilton was a laborer. John Garcia taught me how to run the jackhammer. And Gary, Gary's hat wrap first day, I was checking great for him. Wow. So all those guys in the upper management, you know, I was working with them at one point. Not boring. Every day is a challenge and it, May not really look and seem, but it is. Different locations, different places you have to get into, uh, some of the roads up in just Santa Cruz, mountains up here, places that we go with equipment, uh, you know, and you have to order your own permits uh, to be able to to go on some of these roads, or you have to know when you need pilot cars, uh, with your loads, with, uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot more to it than just driving a truck. I didn't work for a lot of companies, but as far as safety and, 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 and how they treat you, I think Grant Ronk is, is a very good company to work for. I can say that Thanks to their mentality of safety before all males, I can retire with all my fingers and everything in place. Whatever. So, I, do, uh, I do appreciate <clears throat> being able to spend this short period of time with Granite Rock, you know, or I wouldn't have Take stayed here. Okay. So, no, it was good. I you know, hate to <clears throat> hate to leave it. Well. I'll miss everybody. Um, one thing I have done is I've kept a little postcard, the little memorial card from Bruce Wolpert's um, 
services. And I've kept that on my desk the whole time that I've been here. And he's been my inspiration to be the best I can be and be the family member to everybody that I work with. And so I want to thank the Wolperts for allowing me to be part of their family while I was here for my 12 years. Yep. Wow. So, yeah. That's amazing. So that's when I got that license plate in honor of Betsy. And I look back, and the way my old boss, Bill Wara, thought of Betsy and told me what she had done for him. That license plate means a lot. It really does. It's such a great story, Charlie. Honest mm. truth. Mm.